Hold on. The pool of aspiring doctors at UMass includes high school students in Worcester's Pipeline program, training that also takes place at UMass Memorial Hospital. It was there in 2015 we met Louisa Otto, who shared her personal story. I just had surgery on my heart a couple of months ago, um, six months ago. The way the nurses and doctors took care of me on surgery day is, is what made me choose the path to medical school. So it, it opened my eyes a lot. Today, Louisa Otto is on track to realize her dream. She earned a degree in biology and now works as a case manager at UMass Memorial Health's Community Health Link. They've helped me gain a lot of experience and everyone here is so supportive of my career trying to get into med school. Med school is only the beginning. Otto has grander goals. I was born in Africa and the healthcare system over there isn't as good as it is here. I had the opportunity to internship back at Africa, Ghana, where I was born. And so my goal is once I'm done with med school and residency is to go back home and open a clinic over there to help the less fortunate. It's been my focus, yes, <laughs> and I'm gonna get there. Are you here for your first dose? We find dose? today's medical students serving the community here, volunteering their time and expertise at vaccination clinics. The school has a history with health crises on the ground in Liberia during Ebola. Did that inform you? Did that help you during this pandemic? Very much a culture here of where we can help, when can we help, and how can we help. Our students are on the front lines providing vaccinations every day. And I have to tell you, it is such a fulfilling experience. I can't remember anything like this over my 40 years in, in medicine. Frontline students such as Christopher Lee and Mina Botris have taken charge, commanding a student vaccine corps. We have a lot to offer. We've been trained. We have a lot of medical education under our belts already. Where can we go and what can we do? Botris is a born organizer. He saw a need and filled it. I'll sit at my desk, I'll organize locations, I'll put together logistics, but then it's when I'm here in the clinic and taking a seat with somebody who's about to get vaccinated and having that conversation with them. This has opened my eyes to just how important this field is. We had a program between the medical school and the nursing school to give the flu vaccine. So we built on that. At the moment, we've had 471 medical students who've been trained trained and deployed statewide. UMass has uh, even made a van to help students transport to all those sites. A little army, yeah, exactly, and we need a big army. Training this army was entrusted to the Graduate School of Nursing. Paige LaPearl explains. So I think that it was um, ironic for a lot of people that nurses were teaching doctors. Injections aren't in the medical school curriculum, at least um, intramuscular injections. So now that's going to definitely make them more well-rounded to go into their clinical internships and their residencies because now they're going to have that background. And it's really nice to be able to teach them because they're so enthusiastic in terms of learning. Dr. Maddie Castile, the Commissioner of Health and Human Services for the City of Worcester, is grateful for the student involvement. Having the medical students, I, I don't think that this is happening everywhere else. That's been an incredible piece for the mobile clinics. We would not be able to do it without them. During my time was HIV, during their time is this pandemic. It's an incredible group and I think our future with these medical students is gonna be wonderful. This is a moment where there's such a need and to be able to play a role and be of use has been really a joy and I'm really grateful. And pandemics are part of the UMass Medical School curriculum, but mm -hmm. actually living through an experience of pandemic is truly a unique experience for a med Absolutely. Student. I mean, previous generations had polio and mm -hmm. smallpox, measles, even HIV, obviously. This generation has COVID-19, but Chancellor Collins says it's really important to take the lessons they're learning from this pandemic and to prepare for the next pandemic because that's only a matter of time as well. And that's a scary thought. <laughs> All right, next, the match day moment we've been waiting for.